Hello everybody, welcome to another You Pick I Paint Tuesday. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys this really awesome uh, Scout Trooper. The colors that were given to me were by um, Nicholas Butler. He was the one who gave me these four colors I'm about ready to show you. So for those who are new to my channel and new to this series, what it's going to be is uh, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of colors uh, via a picture on my Flickr, which I'll put a link down to the description. Go to that picture and then you'll see all the colors they will have, woo, woo, that was scary. I'm just gonna throw it. Um, you will see the colors and they will have numbers on them and then you tell me four numbers that you want. Uh, he picked for this custom, this is green, just like an olive green, brown, and then this is a maroon, but it's kind of like a reddish kind of maroon color. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's what it is. And then obviously gold, which I just threw at you. Um, so these are the four colors he picked. Obviously I used um, different shades of brown um, to accent and then black and gray and accent colors are um, kind of a gimme. Um, but these are the colors that he picked. He said do it on a scout trooper. So here is the scout trooper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the weapon out of his hand. Boom. Really awesome weapon. I might do a tutorial on how to do um, those type of viral blade weapons because they are really awesome. Um, so I will give you a shout out at the end of this video for giving me these cool colors um, to do. Um, also the concept of this uh, style or this uh, theme is you give me the colors and then I will do my best to put them together in a color scheme that looks great on a figure. So I'm not given like how to put this together at all. I'm just given these four colors and then the body which is a scout trooper. And then I have to do the rest. So the challenge was not to make this look like a Christmas figure or a watermelon because usually when I do red and green they end up looking somewhat like uh, a cross between those two. Um, but I think this one turned out really well and I'm really excited about this figure. Um, also with the shout outs I do have another way of um, doing the shout outs and it may or may not involve my Instagram. I will let you know. So stay tuned for the end of this video and I will um, I will fill you in on some cool details about that. So, without further ado, I will shall get to this review on this awesome figure. <clears throat> I will start with the feet. Um, now, the knee pads, I'll go, well, I don't know why I said feet and the knee pads. Uh, the boots here are just my metal boot. I'm actually going to scoot him up. Scoot you up to the front of the line. Moving on up. Um, it's painted black, and then for the first time I used two different colors. I mixed together a dark gray for the top of the boot right there, just to give it some more color, make it kind of pop out there. Um, and then also with the knee pads, and someone, somewhat, not someone, but elsewhere, get my word straight, elsewhere on the figure I have the same color scheme, or the same design scheme, because normally I just paint like stripes down it and everything, and um, stripes aren't bad, but I wanted to, you know, do something different. I use the same armor for clones because they have the same armor, but I don't want to paint it the same way every time. So um, with this, I use these uh, the brown stripes that just came up and then bent out, um, just kind of break up the pattern, which I think looks really awesome. Um, then he has the knee pads, which I don't normally put those on. I guess this is kind of the knee pad that's sort of an upper thigh pad. Um, and then I paint the top of the legs black. It does have the black fabric on the leg. You just can't see it because the rest of it is black. Here I have the sash down in the middle. This is painted with um, this red color. And then, well, it was originally black, the fabric, and then I had to prime it with gray. And then I had to paint it with that so the color would show through. And then I accented it with gold, which was a lot of fun. Um, moving up, I'll get to these sash pieces right here um, when I get to the side and the back where they wrap around. Um, but these are actually gold pieces of metal um, that I had to darken up a little bit of black paint because they were really bright. A really bright gold color. Um, but moving up just a little bit farther, we have the centerpiece of the um, of the figure's torso. Now, unfortunately, the one figure that I grabbed for this example is a scout trooper helmet, but it's on a clone body, so you can't really see what I'm talking about. Actually, I'm gonna go get one really fast because you need to know. Where are my scout troopers? There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is what I was referring to, um, how it has these two pouches and then the centerpiece is kind of like a fabric-y um, mesh 
or fabric material. I don't know what you call it, but that's what it is, and that's what I did for this guy. I just decided to paint it. Um, but yeah, this fabric, there's like three pieces here, so it kind of gives it some texture to it. Um, that's also mixed together with um, my custom gray paint, which by custom I mean I mixed a little black into it, so it gives it a darker look. Um, and then, of course, these two big pouches, um, and then the two tones color with those. And then, actually, this is... On either one of these shoulder straps, the piece of fabric wraps all around to the back. Um, I just covered it up eventually with all this other stuff. Um, but the fabric you can see right there goes all the way around. And then these three pieces of uh, these three packs are painted with the dark gray. And then I put a black dot to kind of accent it. Um, it's a really cool material. Our really cool um, supplies all up on this guy. has got a lot of cool things going, going on there. <clears throat> uh, moving on to the side of the arm. Now this has the same armor pattern that I use. I got the shorter pad, the piece underneath the shorter pad, um, and then the elbow pad right here. You can see the elbow pad um, has that same design with, uh, there's a big glare on it, which I'm sorry. <laughs> it has that same like stripe design right there as, this, as the knee pad has. Um, and then the gray stripe, or gray, sorry, the brown stripe goes down. And then here on his gauntlet, he has that, uh, uh, the two stripes. And then also on the top of the shorter pad, has the single, let me get a little closer, has the single, um, oh, you might not be able to see it because of the lighting, the single brown stripe and then two brown stripes on either side of it. I don't know if you go to see that in the lighting that I have. I apologize for that. You might be able to see it on my Instagram because I did take some cool pictures of it. Um, but if not, he has, it's basically the same as the, uh, the knee pad. Um, so yeah, that is that side, and then this side is exactly the same, other than the fact that it has a giant shield on it. Um, not really a giant shield, but it's a shield nonetheless. Now, I haven't used magnets in a, in a while now, so I decided to make a magnetic shield, if you look over it. Um, so if you can tell that this is really, really flush with the figure, as you can see, it does not pop out of the arm at all. Um, just a little bit right there. Um, what I had to do, I had to burn a hole into his arm, and then I had to bore it out with an X-Acto knife, and then I had to make it deep enough that the magnet would fit in there, but not all the way through, because the hand piece goes all the way up to about there. So if it went all the way through, then the hand would come out, and it wouldn't even, or the hand wouldn't even go in. Um, so that would not be good. So that took a little bit of engineering to do, but the magnet is in there. Um, this piece, I believe, came from an earring. Um, it's like the, the stopper for it. And then this piece on the top right there is just part of the earring that I, part of the metal that I crimped off. Um, but I painted in there, those little crevices black and then around it gold. And then I got that really awesome red um, accenting for that stripe. And then it is painted or markered with my uh, Viroblade material. As you can see, that is see-through, um, which gives it that really cool kind of Viroblade look. Um, or sorry, kind of a ray shield, not Viroblade. Um, the weapon is Viral Blade, this is Ray Shield. Um, and that's the magnet on the other side. And then, whoop, it just pop. So that's really awesome, really cool feature. Uh, magnet's always fun to use. And then his arm moves all up and down. He can block, he can do stuff. So I think it's a really cool feature. Um, it also hooks to his backpack um, by mistake. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the backpack so you know what I'm talking about. Um, then we'll move him back I'll move him to the middle. Um, so for the back of this figure, um, I'll go ahead and start with the backpack. This is actually two pieces of metal that I used, um, and then I covered them with fabric. And then I have this uh, top piece right here of fabric to represent like the little flip fold on it, um, so you can open it. And then I have two pieces of uh, die rod on either side. This one has some textures to it, and I just painted the top of the, uh, my custom gray color. And then two more ammo packs right here, and then the thermal detonator. You can see painted gray and then got the black stripe and the black dots on your side. Now the thing is with that is um, the two pieces of metal that I put on the underneath the backpack are magnetic so his shield can actually hook to his backpack which is awesome. Um, it's one of those things that you don't really plan for. I just accidentally just I don't know how but it got a magnet got stuck on there so I'm like well, that's pretty cool. So it will stay to his backpack if he needs to have it there. Yeah. <laughs> That's always fun. That never gets old. Um, so moving on to the really awesome comma, which um, I painted again. I had to prime it with gray, and then I painted it with uh, this color right here. 
and then accent it with gold. Now, my paintbrushes, guys and gals who's watching, um, aren't the best paintbrushes in the world. Actually, they're actually really bad paintbrushes. I've had these for so long. This is the thinnest paintbrush that I have, and it is not that thin. So getting small details is like a hit or miss. Um, sometimes I can get them. Obviously, I got like these really small ones, but um, it's really tricky to get um, it to be perfect. So um, that's always fun to work with. <laughs> but I did paint this really cool ornate gold design on the back here. And then on the corners of this, I painted these gold um, little... Um, I don't know what you would call them. It's kind of caps on the on the corners, and then it runs up here, and then it has another gold swirly design coming off of the front of it. You might be able to see it better on this side right here. That's in the way. So really cool gold design. I think really brings this character together. He's almost like a royal guard. Is is more or less what uh, I was going for um, with this figure. And then of course these are these two metal sashes that kind of go around. I, I use material or fabric for these mostly um, but this is a really cool gold material that I wanted to use um, I think it looks really good. It looks a lot better in person um, for those who can't quite see it. Um, and then moving on up to the head. I'll do the helmet first so I can take it off and then I'll get to the shoulder pads. Um, but the helmet was a little bit tricky um, to do because I didn't want to put this maroon on it and trying to fill up the gap on this big helmet was a little bit um, challenging but I did put this really cool brown pattern on either side of this cheek piece and then a brown stripe running down the middle and then of course I painted inside of that black and then on this side now I painted green first and then the black so I can get that nice edge on that and then I just put some what I thought would be Star Wars symbols or wording um, on the side of his helmet and then I got these black the black one right here in the middle is the um, 231st I don't know if that's actually a, a regiment, but it's kind of hard to paint the little numbers on there. So I got, I just went some more, went for some numbers that were easy to paint. <laughs> so that's how that got there. Um, and then of course this back piece right here has that same pattern on it that the knee pads and the elbow pads have, which is really awesome. And then of course I got these two other um, squares on either side, and then one more up top. And then of course the top is the same pattern as his shorter pads for those who couldn't see what the shorter pad looked like. It's basically this pattern um, right there, which is really awesome. I love that design. Um, and that is that is the helmet. He does have a head, which I will try to turn around. Okay. These things are kind of hard to move. Woo. There you go. He's all smiley. He's happy to see you. Um, so this is the head that comes with this figure. Now for the shorter pads, I are for the shorter fabric going across the shorter and I do have that same ornate design on the shorter pad which is really 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 awesome I'm not sure if that's going to be focused here or not my camera's giving me this flashing battery sign it, if it goes out then I'm sorry because you'll never see this video because it's not going to get put up because I'm not going to edit two together so anyway um, the front piece right here is um, painted I got these little uh, spikes not really spikes but just really cool like sunset almost um, design here on this lower part of his neck and then this here is a piece of metal that folds around that's the same as this part of the metal um, which is really really awesome see if you can get a better view of it yeah look at that gold there's gold in here um, so yeah really really cool fabric it was a lot of fun to work with um, I think it pulls this figure together he looks kind of royalish which is really cool. That's what I was going for. Put that back on. See his beady little eyes going through there. Um, moving on to the weapon, because I think my camera is about ready to die. Um, this here is his Vibro Blade Pike, which has three pieces of the Vibro Blade. As you can see how my fingers move the lighting, it kind of, you can see through it, which is really cool. Um, and then I got this really cool um, gold and black and that maroonish color just pattern going all up and down this weapon. Um, which is really, really cool. I think it turned out nice. I love how this came out. So it's a really cool weapon. It's a really unique weapon. I've never seen one made like this before. Um, but the combinations are endless when it comes to making stuff like this, which is the fun part. Because um, I can never make the two, I can never make two the same. Um, well, I could if I wanted, but um, you know what I mean. So this is a really cool weapon. He does not have a blaster because he is a guard. So he'll have this epic weapon and then his shield and then just his awesomeness to fight with. So that is this custom Royal Guard Scout Trooper. 
If you liked this custom and you liked this video, please hitchhike it. Um, don't forget that if you're the first person to leave a comment on my video, you get a shout out, which I'll put right up in here. Um, Nicholas uh, Butler, I'll put your shout out up in here as well. Um, please fist pound this subscribe button right here. It helps me out a whole lot. I'm um, going to come out with a lot of new cool stuff. I'm going to do a tutorial tomorrow, probably on the sword, because a lot of people wouldn't see that. So uh, make sure you're subscribed so you can see that um, video. is going to be really awesome. Um, and then I still have those two figures on eBay. They are my um, Shadow Trooper and then my um, Stormtrooper. Don't forget to go check those out. Um, also, if you, I was going to mention the Instagram thingy. Um, if you are the first person to leave a comment on my Instagram pictures that I post, because I post these, try to get them out the day before. If you do so, if you're the first person to uh, leave a comment on it, then uh, you will get a... Um, you'll get a shout out and if you want to share it that's awesome too um so go ahead and go check that out i'll also leave a link in the description oh i almost forgot the before and after again because i always do so this is the before and after for those who care do this really fast because my camera is scaring me because the battery light is flicking faster <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of work that went into this figure it was a lot of fun to make i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i did but yeah that is it. Don't forget to go to the, down in the description, find the link to my Flickr, find the paints, pick four paints, leave them down below. Let me know um, what you want to see them on. If not, just give me the, the number. Please give me the number, not the name. Um, and yes, if you are on um, your phone, you might not be able to see the shout outs, but my doorbell just rang because my brother's here. Gotta go. God bless. I'll see you later. Bye.